name is Grace. Today I'm going to read the Bible story. Today's the Bible title is The Brave and Beautiful Queen Esther. Let's read. Today we're going to read about the beautiful and brave Queen Esther. Esther was a queen of Persia. Even her husband, King Xerxes, didn't know her secret. Esther was Jewish. Esther's cousin Mordecai worked at the palace and looked out for her. So Esther was a queen of Persia. But she was Jewish. Even her husband, King Xerxes, didn't know. Queen Esther was a Jewish. Oh. <sighs> At Xerxes' advisor, Haman, got a great reward. He was very proud, even expect Mordecai bow down to him. Haman was insulted. He loved to kill Mordecai and all the Jewish. So Xerxes' advisor Haman got a great reward. So he said, "Bow down to me." And but except Haman, all people has bow down to him. But Haman, I. Mordecai didn't bow down to Haman, so Haman was angry because Mordecai didn't bow down to him. So he decided to kill Mordecai and all the Jewish. Queen Esther is Jewish. Let's see what's happening. What will happen? Haman told Xerxes that the Jewish were dangerous and should die. Xerxes agreed and set the day to kill them. Mordecai was terrified and sent a message to the Queen Esther. So Haman told Xerxes that Jewish were very dangerous and they're not good person. We have to kill them because Mordecai didn't bow down to him. And Xerxes agreed. He didn't know Queen Esther was also Jewish. So he agreed that. And Mordecai told the Queen Esther that Haman is going to kill us, Joy. Question: Haman wanted to kill the Jewish people. True. Haman wanted to kill the Jewish people. Change the king's mind," said Mordecai. "If I go him, if I go him, if I go to him without his invitation, he can have me killed." Esther replied. Perhaps you were made queen just for the moment," said Mordecai. So Mordecai called Esther. He sent a letter to change the king's mind. But Esther could be killed if she goes without his permission, invitation. Then she can be all killed.
Esther bravely agreed to try. She went to the throne room. King Xerxes was amazed by her beauty and invited her. Can we have dinner with Haman? He asked. So Esther bravely agreed to try and she went to the throne room. And King Xerxes saw Esther and she, he was amazed by her beauty. So he invited her in. So Esther told Haman that can we have dinner with Haman? Who told Esther to change the king's mind about killing the Jewish? Number one, Haman. Number two, Mordecai. Number three, the Jewish people. Number two was the correct answer. Mordecai told Esther to change the king's mind. Haman was building a big gallow to in his backyard. He planned to hang Mordecai on it. Then the king's invitation room arrived, so Haman went to the palace for dinner. So Haman was building a big gallows in his backyard to hang Mordecai. And then the king's invitation arrived. A man wants to kill me and my people, the Jewish, Esther told Xerxes. Who would do such a thing? He asked. The evil Haman! Esther cried. Haman guards put him to death. So a man wanted to kill? Esther said. A man wants to kill me and my people, the Jewish. So like. Lucy was surprised and who would do such a thing? And Esther told that Haman wanted to kill him. So Haman put him in bed. So Haman was hanged on a gallows he had built for Mordecai. Because of Esther, the Jewish were saved. They celebrated with a great feast, a feast which is still celebrated to this day. So Haman was hanged on the gallows, what he had made for the Mordecai. And we also celebrate. They celebrate with the great feast, a feast which is still celebrated to this day. <laughs> Question God allowed Esther. To be a queen, and this time, at this time, to save the Jewish people from death. True. Yesterday I read the Bible story. Did you enjoy the next time I'll read another good story? Then let's see you next time. Bye!